Let's take a look at some of the clips of this unbelievable career, and I do mean unbelievable. Possum Gully, Australia, 1897. Here is the story of my career. My brilliant career. I've completed 50 feature films. I've worked with 32 different directors. Bruce Beresford offered me my first film. The only other director I'll mention is Paul Mazursky. His mantra, show me the magic, has been my guiding force all my career. I've seen many corners of this world. I've worked with the most beautiful people. I've had a chance to see some fantastically creative minds at work. I'm lucky and thankful that my darling wife of 52 years seems to relish the gypsy life. I, I use lighting as a painter uses a brush. One of those units now, that's five, six. You can illuminate a subject to the point where you can photograph it, or you can dramatically light a scene and they're like chalk and cheese. It's actually placement of light, and it's the use of the shade or the blackness between the lights that create the patterns that make the scene work. That's right on the money. It's the magic you're creating for the audience, uh, and you hope that they don't really understand you know, how many cards you've got up your sleeve and all the rest of it. Yeah, I like that. We've got to see the hero here. Yeah. Right? Still and the right. moment he's got... Yeah, but I wanted some sort of top edging on him. OK, I'll oh, source four. But we should repeat the same concept I'll, on, I'll on the other... Source four this, on there, yeah. Oh, and we took these down. That, that's yeah, better. That's, that, that's better, isn't it? Much better. Yeah. Just hold on the smoke. It's a little heavy. It'll be good by the time we shoot. It's easy to actually illuminate it but it's hard to light it constructively and, and uh, I guess, artistically. And that's the real challenge. And that's what I love doing. One of the hallmarks of Don's career is he's shot so many movies and people um, have often said, what is your style, Don? And I think that what's so interesting about Don is he will say that his style absolutely depends on the movie that he's working on and that his first job is to try and get to understand what it is both story-wise and emotionally that a director is trying to get out of the film and then figure out the style around that that best suits that particular project. Thank you. Good. Thank you. I'll have all those to go off, which is good. Yeah. yeah. This scene's a, a little operatic. It's our version of a Wesleyan gunfight in which uh, two clawed mutants are about to attack each other. And the setup is quite classical. And we hope it works. We're all cameras. Look what the cat dragged in. Why? Much better. One more like that. Up here, it'll be a separate shot. It'll be a quick one, though. Right? They'll get this shot, and then by then you might be in place. Try and work out the best way to get up here. Good luck and goodbye. 
the pressure for me is not the fact that a day here might be costing just under four hundred thousand dollars a day. Um, it's the fact that you know I've, I've got to try and make a good result. It's it's my I guess ego that drives me, not the thought of that money. Weather report says it's going to rain this afternoon. I love weather reports. We're starting to read the rain. You want to go? Okay, Just tilt up a bit, David. Changing light conditions is probably one of the greatest challenges for a cinematographer. There's kind of a moment where, you know, the crew is unsure, you know, are we, are we actually going to get this scene? We still have two shots left, and everyone turns to the cinematographer, and, and you, you know, all eyes are on him or her to say, mm, we're going to go for it or not. OK, guys, sorry, we've lost the light. OK. Let's go. Thanks for trying. Yeah. Double scotch. Harry, Harry. We're going to have a nice warm glass of wine and a slice of free cheese. Right there. Yeah. Oh, OK. Oh, See, now he got in the back of the embarrassment. That's just classic McAlpine. 